First of all, I would like to thank Allah Subhanahu wa Taala that has given us blessing so that we can gather in this beautiful place with peaceful in our hearts. Secondly, salawat and salam are always given to our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, who has brought us from the darkness into the lightness. Last but not least, I would like to thank all of the audiences here who has given up their time to attend to, to attend this agenda with me, and especially for Mr. Bambang as the head of neighborhood association in Mangonjoy village who has invited me to be the to be the speaker today good morning ladies and gentlemen today i'm standing here to be the speaker of the workshop with the title how to maximize the potency in Mangonjoy village mr bama told me through emails that he want to make this village become more developing than before so that maybe about five days ago i came here to this village to do some observation about what people do here and what they usually like. From the observation that I have done before, I have three main data and I would like to give some solutions to the problems of each data in order to maximize the potency in Mount Jai village. As you can see here, this is the data about men presentation in this village. There are about 70% men in this village who have job. Those who are have job usually work at office, at store, or in their own business. While the rest 30% men in this village, in this village is have no job or jobless. Those who are jobless is usually stay at home, raising their kids while the wives is go out for work. The next data is about women presentation in this village. This is can be called as 180 degree upside down compared to the men presentation because there are only 30% women in this village who have job. While there are seventy percent men and women in this village is have no job or jobless. Those who are jobless usually become housewives and raising their kids. Now the question is how to help these jobless men and women in this village to get job? The only answer is of course we have to help them to get job, right? The first is for the housewife, it would be good to make a group and create an independent uh, institution to study together about waste utilization, especially about 3R. Consists of reuse, reduce, and recycle. After that, they could make new stuff from the waste so that they can have job, earn money without leaving their responsibility as a housewife. The second is after the product that had been made from the housewives, the men would have role as a seller to sell the, mar the product in market. And of course, the income from the product will be divided for all the workers. Now we move to the next data. This is about children ratio in this village. The ratio between male children and female children is 8 equal to. The male children in this village is more plentiful than the female children. Actually, this ratio is surprising because in other villages, mostly the female children is more plentiful than the male children. This fact is actually like a fresh breeze to Mount Jai Village because we can make a youth organization within the children. In this organization, they could pour out their ability for the sake of Mount Jai Village, and it would be good if they could, if they could, taking place of the elderly to take care the Mount Jai Village. It's all the data from the observation that I have done before. And I also provide the solution for the problems of each data in order to maximize the potency in this village. I hope that all the audiences here 
would accept all the solution from me to developing the Mangunjaya village. I apologize if there are any mistakes in my speech. Thank you very much for the attention and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.